Hello, um, my name is Patricia Wentworth and for my project I made a salve um, to help with skin issues and ailments, um, just overall smooth skin. I made this salve for a few different reasons. Um, first and foremost, I get really dry, cracked knuckles in the winter that get so bad that they bleed and I have had to use like really expensive and thick lotions and creams um, for that in the past and so I, that was the main thing in my mind that I wanted to combat. Um, but also I was already planning on making a rosemary infused oil for my scalp because I have issues with dandruff. Um, I also tend to pick at my skin, especially my upper arms because I have keratosis pilaris, um, which is like the acne like bumps and very dry skin on the upper arms and the salve helps with small cuts and scrapes. Um, and I also wanted something that would help me in multiple different areas. So I suffer from mental health issues like ADHD and anxiety. So the herbs and um, essential oils and everything that I chose also have a lot of like focus, mood stabilizing and energizing effects. Um, I got all of these ingredients from Whole Foods. Um, so they're all organic. Um, but in the salve, I used almond oil and I infused that with dried organic rosemary, which is scientifically known as Rosemarinus officinalis. Um, there was beeswax and then essential oils, which were lavender, scientific name of Lamiaceae, um, and the medicinal parts of that plant used are the flowers. Oh, the medicinal parts of the rosemary that are used are the leaves. Um, ylang ylang, kananga odorata, and the medicinal part of that plant is the flowers. Clary sage, or salvia scleria, scler um, the medicinal portion of that plant is the flowers and the leaves. Um, eucalyptus, scientific name is eucalyptus, and that plant is, the leaves are used medicinally. And then lemongrass, um, kimbo pogon, which the leaves are also the medicinal portion of that plant. Um, I chose these herbs because of many reasons. Starting with almond oil, it's great for all skin types. Um, it's an emollient, so it softens and soothes the skin. Um, and it's also rich in fatty acids, so it's moisturizing, it provides protection from free radicals, and it promotes healthy cell function. Um, rosemary, I chose for its antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and anti-apoptotic effects. Um, also for its mood improving effects, anti-anxiety, and the fact that it increases blood flow um, to that area of the skin. The essential oils, I chose these. I chose lavender because of its extremely versatile effects. It has so many properties, but mainly for this um, salve, I chose it because of its antifungal properties. Um, it treats eczema, and then it's also anti-anxiety and stress relieving. Um, Clary Sage I chose for its antibacterial, anti-anxiety, and stress relief effects, along with its antidepressant effects and anti-inflammatory. Um, eucalyptus strengthens the skin's natural moisture barrier, um, so it prevents and relieves dryness, um, and it also promotes relaxation. Ylang Ylang I chose because it stimulates and balances the natural oil production of the skin. Um, it's an antidepressant anti-anxiety, stress relief, um, mood boosting, and anti-inflammatory. And then lastly, lemongrass I chose because of its antibacterial, antifungal, anti-inflammatory effects. Also, it has acne fighting effects and it just brightens and clarifies the skin. Um, there were also a surprise effect to this salve that I didn't think about until I experienced it, which was menstrual cramp relief. Um, so the day after I made this salve, I got my period and I have had consistently had debilitating cramps on day one of my um, menstrual cycle. Um, and so I put the salve on as soon as I started feeling the cramps because I was like, why not? It couldn't hurt. Um, and almost immediately I felt relief. It wasn't a hundred percent gone, but it was so subtle. I almost didn't even notice my cramps anymore. And previously heat packs have been the only thing to help me with menstrual cramps, um, which is not very convenient if I'm anywhere other than my own home. Um, so I put this on again before work, but I forgot to bring it. And so by the time my shift was coming to a close, my cramps had come back in full force to the point where I was doing leg swings, high knees, stretching, um, and was like bending over with pain. Um, so I put the salve on again as soon as I got home. Um, and within five minutes, the cramps were back to being so moderate that I barely even noticed them. 
Um, and I, this is because clary sage, I learned after, is actually a menstrual cramp relieving herb. Um, but also lavender is a relaxant and anti-inflammatory. Lemongrass is also anti-inflammatory and so is ylang ylang. Eucalyptus is a relaxant. And then rosemary with its properties to increase blood flow by expanding the capillaries and blood vessels um, all come together to really help relieve menstrual cramps. Um, the constituents of these plants, lavender, or rosemary has volatile oils, flavonoids, and phenolic acids. Um, lavender has volatile oils, tannins, and flavonoids. Clary sage has volatile oils, alkaloids, terpenoids, and mucilage. Lemongrass has volatile oils, flavonoids, and phenolic acids. Ylang ylang has volatile oils, terpenoids, um, and then eucalyptus has volatile oils, flavonoids, and phenolic acids. Um, the traditional uses of these herbs. Rosemary has been used for a very long time as a culinary herb, specifically in the Mediterranean, um, but it has also been used for fragrance and improving memory. Lavender has traditionally been used to treat headaches, nervous disorders, skin ailments, and muscle pain. Um, lemongrass, taken internally, has been used to treat nervous disorders and stomach problems. Um, ylang ylang has been used to treat malaria, stomach problems, asthma, gout, and nervous disorders. Eucalyptus has been used as an antiseptic to heal wounds and fungal infections and also improve respiratory health. And then clary sage has been used to help with stomach issues like digestive disorders, kidney disease, and then also as an all over beneficial tonic to bring the body back into balance um, energetic wise. I did not use a specific recipe for um, this salve other than the general guidelines on how to make a salve, um, but I infused the almond oil with rosemary for around two and a half hours um, using the double boiler method, and I used one part almond oil to four to five parts rosemary. Then I added the beeswax until it was the right consistency and checked the consistency by using the cold spoon test. Um, and then I turned off the stove and mixed in a total of 12 drops of essential oils before the mixture cooled. Um, I used three drops of lavender and clary sage each, and then I used two drops of lemongrass, two drops of eucalyptus, and two drops of ylang ylang. I really, really enjoyed this process, um, and I have used this salve every single day since I made it, and every time I use it, I get more excited um, about it, and the fact that I made it myself, and I have seen such incredible results from it. Um, I didn't think the initial oil infusion would be very enjoyable for me, simply because of the amount of time that it took, but I was wrong. It was honestly a very meditative process, um, and with the salve itself, I had instant results, and I also used the extra infused almond oil for a hair and scalp mask, um, and then it was a really good process for my ADHD because I could do other things, and then when I was tired, of, like I would get up and check those things every, like the um, rosemary oil every like 15 to 20 minutes, um, so it was a nice little break for my brain doing other things. Um, and if I would do this again, yes, I am going to do this again. I'm actually planning on making another batch for my manager as a Christmas present. Um, she thought I was telling her about it at work one day and she thought it was really cool and asked for it. And I was like, that would be a perfect present for her. Um, what I would change though, and what I actually originally wanted to do was infuse the almond oil with both lavender and rosemary instead of using a lavender essential oil. Um, so I'm excited. I'm going to try and find dried lavender this time to do it that way. Um, I wish I had done that the first time, but I couldn't find lavender dried. Um, and so I'm going to do that next time, but that's pretty much the only thing I would change. I really, really enjoyed how this salve turned out. Um, everything that it has done for my skin, my arms are so smooth. My knuckles are not cracked and not dry. Um, but I really enjoyed this process and I'm glad that I did it. Thank you.